Ugh, I gotta get a new microphone arm at some point in time here. Anywho, okay, what are we doing? I don't. I. I. Uh, ah. Mm, mm. The curse of the open world remains uh, a curse. <laughs> it's I. I really don't know what I. Where I want to go for right now because there's a boss that I don't want to fight, but there also is also the implication that I don't need to fight it, which I wouldn't hate. Yeah, it's like the ever jail stuff. Maybe I can go do that. I don't know. It's sort of like an interesting thing that is just like a bunch of uh, mini bosses, seemingly, which wouldn't be too bad to fight. Yeah, sure. I'll try it out. Ugh. In the meantime, though, uh... yeah, I just don't want to. <laughs> I suppose, uh. If anybody's getting in the chat here, I'll try. I'll show what the boss is and see if I we got any um, um, um cool tips that I can try and um use to fight the thing. But aside from that, uh, yeah, I don't want to. Yeah, that's it. That's the entire thing. I don't want to. I also still have uh. Now with the, the uh, actual YouTube series started up here, I can of course go back and start doing that other stuff, but I kind of want to make sure that I know what I'm doing in the future after that point. Because after all, uh, the, one, one of the purposes of the YouTube series is to not be wandering around an awful lot. What do you got? How bad is this going to be? No, I don't see anything just yet. Okay, there you are. Actually, probably should have gone in there if he's going to be yelling the entire time. Okay. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Giants have that, like... Well, at least the giants that have the swords have that rushing attack. Not bad. Not enough to actually stun the dude, though. Okay. Okay. Well, that didn't do damage, so I'll take it. Nope. All right, all right, all right. Uh, don't know what he's doing. Maybe I won't. I, I, okay, it is casting a spell. I kind of expect that. Wait, what's happening? Uh, he's kind of casting a spell, but I don't know. Uh, he's. Uh, He still does have large feet. The timing is like you suddenly want to stream mid gameplay. I mean, no, I just I walked over to the ever jail. I, I gave an explanation as to. All right, fine. Uh, I gave an explanation as to what what I was doing right now. the The explanation is more or less that I don't know what I'm doing, and hence that means that I go on stream. And, uh, <laughs> I go on stream and I try to, to get the, uh, to get the, the, uh, what do you call it? Um, crowdsource, uh, backseating. <laughs> anybody got any backseating? Hey, I'm looking for a little bit of backseating, anybody? Release the mauled energy here. Hey, that's what the streams are always, be have always been about. After all, uh, the point of the YouTube series is to kind of rein in the molding a little bit. Because, <laughs> oh man, too much molding. That's what these streams are all about. Alright, I don't even know what these things are or do. Shields. That's kind of fun. Not anything I'm looking for, but, yeah, whatever. Okay, ugh. All right, all right, all right. So, as of right now, it seems like I got two different choices of stuff that I want to do. There is a... There's the giant lift, which, talking to an NPC, I'll probably show that later. You're just kind of, like, right outside of the area, you know. The, hmm, what's this, then? Hmm, what's all this, then? Can't access it. Just need to actually go fight these guys here first.
Okay. Um, what was I saying here? Yeah, there's an NPC that seems to imply that I need to get, like, two halves of some sort of crescent. Carry a knight sword. I did uh, eh, Probably not going to use that. Yeah, it has a double jump on the horse. It's such a weird thing. It does tell you that immediately, but... I, it took me a little bit to actually realize that I was supposed to use it because I wasn't reading the text, I guess. I don't know. There's no excuse, but I wasn't. Um, what was I saying here? Yes, there is an NPC that seems to imply to use that gigantic lift that I need to go and get, I don't know, crescents? I don't know what that means or where they are or what I need to do about that. Or there's a tunnel. What? Really? <laughs> but, uh, or there's a tunnel that I can go into, that I did go into. It's got a very, um, blight town sort of style to it where you just keep going up ladders. And it leads to a boss that I do not want to fight. <laughs> I don't. It's it's one of those giant bosses that that uh, moves quickly enough that you can never really see what they're trying to do. Uh, so I don't know. I would rather go for the find the the halves of the crescent thing. I don't know, but. Like, I don't... I have no idea where exactly that would be. Yeah, here. Let's just go see. The exact thing that I was told here. So I'm looking for some backseating. That's the thing. That's what I'm looking for. People just want to tell me what to do. I really don't want to fight that boss. Yeah, but as soon as you go out this door here, the the, the one with the, the snowflake, there is this NPC that I totally ignored. You, you have... Oh, what a pity it is to... All yeah. Even the the half-crescents that wish to be whole. What does that mean? Planning to throw yourself into the waters. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And that's the other one that I found. What are the crescents? Do I have anything in my inventory? I, th there is like two halves of a thing that I have in my inventory. Uh, not this. Probably in key items. Some junk that I found at some point in time. Why didn't I get this? <laughs> well, do whatever. It doesn't matter. Hmm. Kind of interesting. Yeah, yeah. That was some other, like, the mini dungeon that I ended up doing. Ranged weapons. Come on, come on, come on. Where is it here? Hmm? I don't know where that is either. Anyway, uh, I'm not going to end up equipping it anyway. I have no strength. Well, cannot find this thing that I thought I had. At least I was pretty sure. What do you think about this game? Still don't like it. <laughs> no, that's the entire thing. Well, at least I thought I had this. I don't know. Maybe I don't. No, I got it in the first episode. Doing stuff. Nah, I got no idea. Well, anyway. So I'm looking for two crescents or I gotta go fight a boss. God, I don't want to fight the boss. I don't want to fight the boss. Somebody somebody, tell me how to go find the two crescents wherever they are. But I suppose I can always get a few more attempts in here. Maybe I can uh, beat it quickly enough. Who knows? Oh, who knows? Who knows? I'm just looking for somebody that's more knowledgeable than myself right now. I even tried like looking up a guide or something for the game, but I couldn't find anything. I still think they don't exist just yet. All right. Expend your entire stamina bar running up to the giant pillar. Mm. 
And then this guy just keeps continuously doing the uh, the watchdog of the old lords thing. All right, that that specifically. See the thing he's doing right now, and it's just like, uh, it's so annoying. There's no good room to attack. Anyway, have to get to work. Just want to pop in really fast. Ah, don't worry about it. I don't think I'm going to be making any progress right now, to be honest. Now then. Oh, man. And he's doing it again. But, yeah. It's like, if I could avoid doing this fight, I would, I really want to. Because <laughs> it's just that guy constantly doing that thing over and over. Leaving a lot of fire on the ground that is very annoying and cannot be dealt with very easily. But uh, yeah, I just don't. I just don't know where the crescents are. You gonna go for fire again? He's gonna go for fire again. Fuck me, this guy loves fire. Yep, yeah, he loves it. He loves doing it. Oh, what an annoying boss. Anyway. If anybody knows, if anybody knows, please, Crescents, I need them. I need them. I need to avoid doing this anymore. Oh, wait. And he's going to immediately go for fire again. Ah. Never seen a boss just use an attack like that over and over and over in this series. Usually they like to mix it up even a little bit. So yeah, uh, if you got any other uh, like ideas or something too, if you don't outright know, I'm also willing to hear that. Fire? Oh yeah, it's the fire. And now it goes into a second phase because every boss has a second phase. Blah. You know how that goes, you know the classic. We decide to stand up. And then, uh, kind of just gets, like, even more range and obnoxious stuff to do. In fact, I shouldn't even be standing near the pillar just because he will hit me through it. That's how much range this dude has. Now, can we get the fire off of the ground for, like, five seconds? No. <laughs> Ah! Well, at least I got this fight a little bit better, but I don't know if I got it quite good enough. To uh, say too much of anything. See, that slam down as the biggest hitbox, doesn't it? Staying away from the fire here. Yeah, yeah, there it is again. You don't mind? Oh, I'm actually not doing too bad. Oh, yeah, there it is. There it is. See, I told you, he'll just hit you right through that. You gotta just not even stand near that pillar. Let's get like a good amount of distance doing other stuff. Wait until the fire's gone. Hopefully it won't try and do like another big fire. Oh, wait. Yeah, okay. What are you doing? 
Makar, I dislike your fight. <laughs> Ugh. The hitbox here, I tell ya. It is truly a sight to behold. That's it, I'm not doing too bad. Still, though, I still would, I, I, like, you know, considering I'm doing the whole YouTube series and everything, I would still honestly like to try and just find the alternative. Whatever this is. Yeah, actually, that, that went surprisingly well. I'm, I'm kind of honestly surprised that I was able to, um... To beat up Makar here. Hey, Dragonheart. Neat. <laughs> Still, though, I don't want to fight that guy again. I, I just don't... I don't want to. It's... He just keeps doing that thing where he keeps just vomiting fire at me over and over. And I just find that annoying as an attack. Well, hey, at least... I'm, I'm happy that I was able to beat him, though. <laughs> That's fun. But, uh... Uh... It does still seem like there's some kind of alternative that I can probably look for. I don't know. No, not Beast Liver, a Dragon Heart. I got a Dragon Heart. That seems important. <laughs> what? How? I don't know. What are you doing, baby? Um. Mm -hmm. Oh, gain the power of Dragon. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I found that. Gets you special Dragon items at a Dragon Altar. Respec into range. You know, there is. You know. You know, <laughs> that's not even probably an an unreasonable sort of thing to try and attempt, but, uh... No, come on, come on. Come on. Actually, I kind of want to go and get some sort of dragon thing. If I was going to go become a dragon man, and I guess that's what we're doing right now, which is... Where exactly? Oh my god, I have... I do not remember. I think it's in Kaled. Maybe. <laughs> Looking for... Oh, here we go. Cathedral Dragon Communion. That's definitely it. What am I going to get, though? Chad, if you got an opinion on... um Dragon-related... <laughs> on dragon-related items that I should be attempting to get, what are you thinking? What do you want to what do you want to look at here? Because of course, you, you know it's it's I, I believe it's just very similar to previous Dark Souls. I know in Elden Ring, similar to previous Dark Souls games, um you can just kind of like exchange it for, hey, here's like a dragon head or a dragon legs or whatever. Yeah, dragon fire, definitely don't have the stuff for that. Oh, I, just, I guess I just don't have this stuff for any of this. Well, never mind. I thought I, I could at least get, I don't know, like... An item that I could equip. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Yeah, but that would be fun. That's more what I'm looking for, but it requires, like, arcane and faith. I don't have arcane and faith. Called the Dragon Hearted. That's me. I guess. <laughs> Unwillingly. I did not want to... to fight that dragon, but I did. <laughs> It was accomplished. Such a thing was accomplished in a way that cannot be, cannot be argued. But hey, what are what else are we doing here? What where was I before now? Church of the Cuckoo. Yeah, I got like a cuckoo soldier's armor. Seemed interesting. Anyway, back to the magma worm. Bah. Magma worm. Magma worm just means it vomits fire everywhere. And also has a, a sword for some reason. What's up with the... Who, who gave that thing a sword? 
But uh, I suppose it doesn't really matter that much now. Now does it? Well, hey, I beat it. Sure. I fully expected it to take a lot longer, but I guess I kind of got the timing down for the attacks enough. Another very slow attack an enemy. You know, one that really uh, stalls out its attacks a lot, which means that it's kind of hard to predict. Not an unusual thing for any one of the Souls games, but uh, this is... I feel like Elden Ring has has had slow attacks even more than normal, but maybe it's just that I'm just getting so used to playing stuff like Dead Cells now that it's that much more noticeable. Alright, where am I now? What am I doing? What's going on? I'm on the Atlas Plateau. Ah, yes, this is where the Persona games are found. That's... Is that anything? Hey, Vasama, welcome to uh, more Elden Ring. Ring. It, it, it's happening. It's still here. Hey, Bancrotus. Welcome back. <laughs> I hope once again you're staying safe here. I love you. Oh, all right. Cool, cool, cool. Is this a... <clears throat> now, here's a question. Is this a different location than where I was at before. Or, no, I, I didn't mean to put a beacon down. I meant to... Uh, uh, look at this. Yeah, yeah, this is... Atlas Plateau is apparently something entirely separate from everything else that I was before. Well, the past of the war that I'll never need to suffer playing Elden Ring. Yeah, <laughs> don't worry about it. It's, uh, I'm, I'm still frustrated with the whole, like, um... I'm still frustrated with the whole, like, open world thing. Boy, I don't like open world games. <laughs> it's, I'm, I'm trying to figure out how to bypass this boss here, and then I just ended up beating it anyway. Hi? Hey. <laughs> cool, cool, cool. Um, I don't know what that was. Yeah, I mean, usually in, like, a, any one of the Souls games, if you don't really know where you're going... You can just kind of wander around until you do actually figure it out. Uh, not so much here. Feels like increasingly directionless, but you know. <laughs> I, I can go on rants about that forever. It's one of those things where it's like, of course, it seems actually kind of fun. I, mi I might throw that on just as a, a weird goof. Nah, I just hate Dark Souls at this point. Fair enough. I, I can understand that. I, of course, still really like... Uh, I still really like the style. I, oh, really? I'm so sick of fight. I'm not fighting dragons. You can't make me do it. Especially dragons that are surrounded by lightning. No video game. It's not gonna happen. I mean, to be honest, in like the past couple episodes here, between the sort of like frustrating multi-phase boss that I had to go through, and now this one where it barely fits on camera. It's like, I, I don't even blame you here. <laughs> I still very much do like the Soul series, and outside of the whole open world aspect, I'm having fun with this one, but still, it is, uh, it is, it, it is sort of frustrating to try and just, it's the open world thing. It's the open world thing where it's, where I just don't really know, hey, is that another flask charge? It is. Uh, it's the whole open world thing where it's like, I just feel lost and kind of running around in a direction. Can't really find out where, I can't really figure out where I'm going. Ah, you know, it's, it's the whole thing. I can mold about this forever, but you know what I'm talking about here. Is the sole reason that you don't like this game open world? Yep. <laughs> That's the entire thing. Hey, what's going on? Well, I beat another boss. One that I was kind of hoping to bypass, but didn't happen like that. So I actually managed to So I actually managed to um um beat the boss anyway. So okay, okay, okay. It, going from here, let's let's kind of give you the rundown since last time. Uh if you were if you were in the last stream here, you know, I beat up the I beat up the uh the full full moon character that I don't remember the name of. <laughs> and then I got kind of past that into Trying to find this this grand lift of Dectus, which it seems like I can access. At least, you know, from what they were saying. 
you know, new good jobs guiding you the path, of, uh, the player to the proper paths. I mean, the the save points, the grace points, uh, they, they do guide you. It's true, but I don't. But it doesn't really tell you where you're being guided to. <laughs> Also, yeah, the Octopath thing. Octopath just outright tells you, hey, you should be at this level to be in this area, which I appreciate a lot. It, it, it was such a small thing. Didn't really think about it at the time, but I like that. So, yeah, after I walked out this gate, the, the big snowflake gate, there's this NPC that I didn't talk to here. Gives me a little bit of... To be without the right. All I can do is stand. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Without the half crescents that wish to be full, you can't use the lift. It seems to be what she's implying here. So what are the crescents? Where do I get the crescents? I don't know. It's like I could not figure that out. So what I did instead was throw myself into the water, take the coward's passage, and beat up a giant dragon that was sort of an annoying fight. I'm going to be honest here. So if anybody can tell me at all, if anybody happens to know, like, hey, what are these crescents? Where do I find them? I want to use the grand lift. <laughs> if I don't have to fight that thing for the, if, if I don't have to fight that, that, uh, the, um, maker worm, Makar, Makar, Makar the magma worm, that's his name. Is there anything moon related on the map? Uh, yeah, I mean, there was an entire boss based around, like, the full moon. Actually, uh, I got, like, her soul or whatever in my inventory right now. But I didn't... Yeah, Remembrance of the Full Moon Queen. Which seems like, yeah, right? You'd think that Crescent... That I'll find something in there? But I didn't? <laughs> I don't know. It, it's like that would be the obvious place to go get that, but I did that entire this this entire little dungeon thing here didn't find anything like that. So full moon turns into crest moon. Fuck if I know. Yeah, I, who knows? <laughs> Whatever. Yeah, if I can't figure out what I'm doing here, I'm just gonna. We, we can always just go fight the magma worm again. I don't want to. <laughs> I do not want to. I don't like that boss. It's got that, it's got that, uh, that Dark Beast Parl sort of thing where it's just super difficult to even see what it's trying to do most of the time. And then it's also got that Watchdog of the Old Lords thing where it just, it just keeps charging at you. And there's no, and as far as I can tell, there's just no real good way to counter the charging. Like, just get behind it if you can before it does that. Because it throws down a bunch of lava pools. And how are you going to counter that? But it, it, I don't know. It's like, hey, if I got no choice, I got no choice. So what are you going to do? <laughs> I'm not going to question it, I suppose. They also called it the Coward's Tunnel. <laughs> you know? Like, they, they called me a coward for using that tunnel. I feel like I should at least try the other way. The non-coward's way. <laughs> But, you know, I guess, I guess that didn't happen like that. <laughs> I, hey, it's called Malden Ring for good reason, you know? <laughs> that's what I, that's why I named the stream that for good reason. Oh, is this the map thing? Y yes, okay. Give me that map. Somehow I'm still missing a decent amount of the maps at this point in time, and that's weird. I don't know why. Okay, that looks promising. There's also this. Divine Bridge. Is that... What is this? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. There, there's like a... a I opened up a... <clears throat> Ugh. I opened up a chest earlier, and it teleported me to that location. There's no place to go from there, but... It's there. <laughs> I don't know. Man, I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing. I don't know what I'm doing. Yeah, some people prefer for exploring the world can be completely blind like an Elden Ring rather than being handled and held like Octopath. Can't satisfy everyone if that's the case. True. 
Well, why aren't you trying to satisfy me? I don't care about other people. I don't care what other people think. I want you to satisfy me. Which is... Uh, weird. Maybe I should rephrase that, but no. Too late. Alright, what is this now? Okay, well, it's a good thing I'm not stopping to fight any of these guys, I suppose. Eh. Eh. Neat. Some good scenery in the background. Fine, unzips. I knew it. That's it. I knew it. I knew it. As soon as I said that. <laughs> Don't design dead cells around me. Yeah, but the dead cells is designed enough around me. <laughs> Look, this seems like a very reasonable request. Just make... Wow. Two of those guys, eh? Um... It seems like a very reasonable request. Just make the game in a way that only makes me happy. <laughs> like, come on. How, uh, can you really tell me that that's unreasonable in any way? Hey, are these two? Yeah, they are. Two golden seeds. Sweet. I, I need three at this point to actually get... And hey, there's a map, too. Uh, I need three at this point to actually get the... Um, actually get the uh, 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 another flask charge but hey only makes me happy <laughs> I'm ha and I, until I'm unhappy how happy I am yeah exactly just like you know I want to overdose on happiness or something that doesn't even make any sense <laughs> well hey at least I like the I like the combat and everything it's it's classic Dark Souls it's it, everything you expect <laughs> Even though I do think that by virtue of being... Uh-huh. Okay. Uh, even though I do think that by virtue of having like the whole open world thing, that they do kind of expect you to be sort of a high level, or have a lot of equipment, or whatever you want to call it, before tackling a lot of the bosses. Alright. Hey. Wow, really getting a good amount of these things now. <laughs> Coming fast and furious. Also, what are these things sticking in the ground? They look like they were fired into the ground, but... I got no idea what that means or how. Hmm. It, it makes it seem like I'm about to be hit by some sort of gigantic uh, cylinder. Oh, come on. <laughs> oh, my God. Hey, this fucking guy again. Hey, it's me. I can't believe he actually reappeared. Do I even want to fight him? <laughs> oh, my God. I guess he did very explicitly say that he was going to... That, uh, on beating him, he was going to find you again. Is he full strength? He seems to be... He seems to have a pretty good amount of health. But uh, at the same time, um, I'm not locked into an arena with a battle this time. So I'm just going to kind of walk past him. By the way, did you enjoy the YouTube episode? <laughs> Ah. I haven't finished watching it yet. Skip about 45 minutes into it. Um, anyway. Well, okay, so I can continue fighting him, I suppose. But, eh, whatever. Hmm, Golden Rune 7. Probably a good amount of uh, souls from that. I mean, look, I can I can go and fight Margit again, but I don't want to. <laughs> like, look, we maybe I'll do that uh, off camera or something. See if he gives me anything real wacky or interesting. But I don't think like I, I'm not I'm not here to do. Okay, never mind. Don't jump off there. Uh, I'm not here to 
make any more attempts at it right now. The boss is the same strength, but you're stronger, so he should be easier. Yeah, probably. I mean, th th that's a not uncommon thing in a lot of uh, the Souls games, after all. Still, it's sort of interesting to see them bringing back like the concept of the the pursuer here. Very similar in that way. <laughs> But at the same time, um, you're also not forced into a fight with him. So, like, obviously on that bridge, you are very... I don't think I'm going to be able to open the story, am I? Lost Ashes? Oh, and that, yeah, that's okay. That's one of those things that lets you duplicate Ashes of War. I don't need to, but hey, I got it now. For whatever that's worth. Can I jump down here? No. Definitely not. I mean, hey, as long as they're not forcing me into a fight, I, I think that's the that's the real difference maker here. <laughs> Still, though, it's it, it is uh, interesting to think that yeah, no, Margie was not kidding when he said, "Hey, I, skirt." When he said, "Hey, I'll be back." <laughs> Sure. Ah, the fingers I served once prophesied a tarnished would one day become Elden Lord. That's me. Restore the Golden Order. Surely you see it too. Nope. The gold that enshrouds the heavens. The great tree which begets the pillars of light. Well, yes, I do see that. Oh, tarnished. Hasten to the foot of the tree. <sighs> okay, so just get, keep keep going to the tree. Light fades. The fingers will surely guide you. All right. Good stuff, good stuff. Uh, by the way, I got a PS5. I decided that now, with the current economic situation, yeah, I saw the ruble fell like 30%. Oh my god. Uh, it sucks. What a horrible situation. Um, crashing hard with nuclear war on the horizon is surely the best time to purchase a PS5. Eh, why not? I mean, I'm just still here doing the fucking internet clown thing, so. I was saying, I was saying in the last stream that it's just like, unless you're a. Unless you're a head of state or like a owner of a major corporation or something like that, there's only so much you can do here. Throw down some donations and whatnot, and even I can't really do that. <laughs> it's like, um, so, hey, video games, they're still here. Price arriving, rising every day, you about used one for the price of a new one was last week. Uh, well, at least, you know, used is not going to be... He's not going to be particularly old at this point in time. All right. Yeah, 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 okay. Well, how do I get to the foot of this stupid tree here? There is, of course, the gigantic... Yeah, that's... This seems to be sort of the only area that I can go into, but I don't think I can open that giant gate. <laughs> yeah, um... I can... Maybe it's a thing where you're supposed to kind of like go around this in some way, but this seems to be the area that I want to get to. This seems to be, yeah, the, the most promising thing, but... Yeah, no, I I can't throw open this gate. I, it should come as a shock to nobody. All right, well, look around elsewhere. Fingers will guide you. Yeah, I know, it's that, it's that classic Dark Souls extremely vague idea that means nothing. Thanks, thanks, Dark Souls. This is the sort of thing where I can't find these stupid crescents or whatever. But, uh, you know. 
I'm figuring this out, I suppose. Slowly. Incredibly slowly. But I'm doing it. Well, I guess there is this gate over here. I didn't really um look too much. Maybe also kind of circle around if possible. Divine Bridge is in that area, but that's that doesn't lead me to anything. There's the big tree. Don't have any idea how happy I'm playing this. Well, right now, this is the sort of... Um, right now, I'm doing the sort of scouting out ahead. You want to see the good playthrough. I'm doing a YouTube series as well, which is, of course, a lot better, I would say. You know, the other thing with Margit is that um, I'm also on a horseback this time. So I can do stuff like this. It's like, yeah, if I had a horse last time I was fighting him, maybe this would have gone a lot easier, you know? <laughs> I mean, literally somebody who can play it, who knows about Dark Souls. Oh, yeah. Developers claim that Elden Ring was designed for a more casual player. I mean, it probably is, you know? Oh, and now he actually... Bri yeah, no, he's got, like, both phases and everything, no less. <laughs> that is super silly. Well, anyway. Okay, okay, maybe I should actually get on the floor... <laughs> get on the ground floor here and fight this dude. I do know all of his attacks at this point in time. I've kind of spent quite a bit of time, um... Figuring them out, after all. Hi. Now that it's not a real fight and I'm not level two, <laughs> I can probably like go in a little bit harder compared to before. No, but really, it is like the. It is like um the same. Oh. Would you get a teleport? Now that one's new comparatively. Come on. Roll, roll, and encircle. Oh, I hate that attack. Didn't even see that one when I was playing it earlier, but you know, it's a thing. Why am I even bothering with this? I don't even know if I get anything for fighting this dude again. Ah, screw it. Put me back on the horse. And of course, it took so long to get on that horse that it didn't even matter. Okay, whatever. Look. I, uh, we can do this later. I don't even know if there's anything necessary that I want to go get from, from fighting this guy one more time. It's just kind of, he's here. He's here. Is it growing on you? Well, I mean, I like the basic gameplay of it. I just don't like the open world stuff. That's that's the entire thing. That is the entirety of it. Oh, yeah, yeah. I was going to circle around the, um, the back side here. I was have, like, twice as many potion charges as I did um, first time I was coming in here, too. What a what a stupid thing. What a uh oh, spent so long learning that guy's attack pattern now he's just appearing as a regular enemy. It's not unex well regular enemy. <laughs> he's still very much an, an elite enemy in every single sense of the word, but still. You know what I'm saying here. There's apparently like some form of shackles or something that I'm 80% done and be like, meh, bye. <laughs> yeah. I have like one potion charge left. I didn't really want to risk it. <laughs> Look, we can go back. I don't even know if I get anything. I probably just get souls from doing that because this is... He's not blocking a gate this time. <laughs> he's not blocking progress to actually get through the game. So... Why not? <laughs> Besides, I'm sure he's not going anywhere. Or if he is, um... Whatever. 
I'm looking for progress. I'm not looking for a fight. Once again, fighting, fighting uh, enemies in a, in a Souls game. What sort of chump do you take me for? Oh boy, this is going to be kind of a thing though, isn't it? Okay, there's one. Okay, well, that means that I probably shouldn't be getting hit by anything past this point. Unless you just point blank me right now. No, okay. <laughs> I had a feeling. I don't have any more, you know, heals. Oh, I see. Draconic Tree Sentinel? Oh, great. Yeah, as if the other Tree Sentinels were, um, they were too easy to fight. Well, kind of. Maybe I can go find a save point around here. Sort of the uh, the more optimal way to maybe play this for the time being. Can you bait enemies into attacking one another? Uh, some of them. I don't know about all of them, though. Oh, boy. So is this... This seems like a boss I need to fight. I'm curious how much... If I, if I give him a good whack with the... With the weapon... Because uh, this does not seem to be a a door I can go through. This seems to be a uh, he seems to be blocking me from going into that door right now. All right, if I give him a good whack, how much damage does it do? Not a lot. Well, that is not ideal. Okay. At least sword com uh, com uh, com horse combat is not too bad. You do get the amount of speed you get on a horse is actually like really helpful. Ow! That said, I have no healing, <laughs> so sort of a problem. I can I can make this work. All right. Try completing all the quests. Uh, just the main one. I'm just going for the main one. That's more the entire thing. All right, well, it looks like I do, in fact, have to fight this guy. <laughs> oh, boy, oh, boy, oh, boy. It doesn't seem too bad. I don't know. I feel like horse combat, I kind of got horse combat down, you know? Well, yeah, you were seeing, like, me fighting um, fighting Margit back there. Actually, I think it is Margit. <laughs> I keep saying Margit, but that's not... I don't think that's right. But, uh, yeah, I was fighting Margit back there. I had him, like, yeah, 80% down just on the horse. It's like, th th this should be fine. And with one of the statues just right here, it's not a save point, but it's effectively as good as a save point. Okay. Kind of stay far away. Oh, okay. So he's got good tracking on that. I suppose I actually do have to dodge it to a certain extent. To a certain extent. Oh no, the horse is really taking some damage here. <laughs> I'm not taking damage. That's the more important part. Um, anyway. Okay, watch out. He seems to have shockwave attacks. He's a big boss who has shockwave attacks. Okay, come on. I'm not even getting the chance to roll away from this. Oh my god, I got stuck on the rock there. Can you believe it? <laughs> Rip horsey. Ah, whatever. You can revive that horse almost immediately. All right. So the, the real challenge here seems to be that the fire breathing is has extreme, like super extreme tracking on you. Like ridiculously extreme tracking on you. Oh, boy. Which means that I'm probably going to need to, to, to like, Get it? You know, along with a lot of the other bosses in the game, it seems like they really went out of their way to prevent you from from being in melee range regularly. Because that is something I've noticed a lot, where they give enemies just infinite combos. Or they have some sort of wacky nonsense that makes it really hard for you to get in close.
and get that stamina back. Stamina on horse is kind of hard to maintain. Oh, damn it. Stop being near the wall. <laughs> him being near the wall means that I don't really have the ability to, to hit him easily. Great, now I'm stuck on this tree. It's kind of a homing flaming breath. Stupid homing flaming breath. Because the point is that I'm trying to run past this guy. So if he's near a wall, I can't really do that. But yeah, I feel confident in my ability to take this dude out fairly, fairly quickly. I'm not going to say really quickly. Shouldn't take a tremendous amount of tries. Ah. Yeah. Just going to go in for swipes. Said jousting style. I described this as being jousting style before. Still hold to that. Here's one point that stamina is actually some, making something of a difference. Oh, oh, I'm getting stuck on him now. <laughs> Come on, man. Run past, get one good swipe. Ugh. Horse isn't gonna be looking too super good real real quick here, is it? There are items that I can create to um, actually go. But he's probably has a second phase, as you know most bosses do. Okay. Um, there are also items I can craft to have the horse heal, which I might wanna do for once. Heh. <laughs> I went in there really Stupidly. That's okay, though. I got it. Okay. Oh, I'm surprised that I could... Didn't get hit there. Yeah, I guess this is his second phase. Yep, sure is. <laughs> Alright, well. This is gonna be annoying. Oh, man. All right, all right, all right. Yeah, so if I if I uh, get the... If, if the horse goes down, it seems like the fact that I stay on the ground for like a good 10 seconds or something means I'm probably going to die. I was going to tell you, what, that he has a second phase? Everything has a second phase. It's been a standard thing in, in uh, Souls games since Dark Souls 3. It's kind of annoying, to be honest. Because <laughs> it's like, hey, this boss is kind of hard. But maybe, like, the start is not hard, so you just kind of have to go through the sort of dull first phase until you get to Cursed Blood. Huh. But no, no, no. Is he yeah, just do this. Sure, cool. Oh, if the horse dies, yeah. I mean, I kind of saw that come the last time I died, too, so. Sort of what I expected, but still. Number held and then stored 67. Yep, that should be good. Okay, try it again, everybody. Okay. Well, at least with like 30 of these things, I should be looking pretty good, at least for some time. There we go. The big charge attack seems to actually be pretty effective. Ah. Well, the wondrous physics should be should cover me pretty well. Oh, 
Oh, miss. Come on. All right. Nope. Good try, though. It's like 30 means I'm probably not going to be running out of these anytime soon. Come on. You ever tried jumping over the breath? How would that work? I don't know. It seems to be a large fireball. No, I don't think that's going to work. No, it definitely did not. Well, at least I have a million of these things, so it shouldn't be too big a deal to it. Go. Shouldn't be too big of a deal to, to do this. The second phase is more the thing that I'm worried about, of course. Okay. Come on, I'm trying to like nail him with the big attacks. I think I maybe should just go for regular attacks here. more accurate yeah more or less that's kind of what I'm looking at right now get the stamina back although this now stamina back slowly and here's where he's gonna do yes Yeesh. And he still has all the regular attacks, too. Okay. Of course, of, of course he has to be very much in the, the, like, running away from me here, too, which is kind of annoying. No. Never mind. I was going to go for a hard attack, but it didn't really happen that way. Now did it. Okay. Oh, okay, yeah. Get out of that corner. <laughs> you know, I have to run past you to get good hits in. And having this guy, you know what? I'm going to like kind of run in the distance a little bit and hope that he tries to follow me. Oh, he actually lost his buff. Huh. Oh. I didn't realize that was a temporary thing. Okay. Well, there you go. He gets it back, but still. Come on, man. Of course. Ha, ah, you thought you were going to get me with the... You thought you were going to get me with a big attack here. Well, I still have fire. That doesn't stop being a thing. Okay. Make sure you don't run out of stamina. I think that's really going to... be the thing that does a lot of... Oh. Anyway. That's going to be the thing that really gets me, if anything. Good. Come on. Oh, great. I'm stuck on the tree again. <laughs> All right. Yo, dog, stream looks good here, but was kind of fucked for the YouTube video frame rate wise. I just I don't know what what the YouTube what why would the stream be less fucked? That doesn't make any sense at all. Well, I don't think there's anything I can do about that.
Because I, I literally do not know what could have possibly happened with that one then. It looks stuttery on YouTube. Are you sure that's not just you? Because nobody else has mentioned that as of just yet. Nope. Alright, slowly but surely. Look. I mean, as long as I can be successful in fighting this thing, that's more... You know, that's sort of the more important thing right now. Even if it takes a little bit to do it. Now I need to wait for him to, like, lose his buff or something like that because he's still sitting right next to the wall again. I need to run by this guy. Are you winning? Yeah, sorta. More or less. I totally missed him again. Gotta stop even just trying to go for the... Gotta stop even just trying to go for the big hits. As much as I like it, and I can really get some good damage with it, it clearly is, you know, just ending with me... Ah. It's clearly just ending with me, um... Losing a lot of, uh, s uh, uh damage that I could have otherwise got if I just went with a regular hit. Okay. Anyway, I always win. I'm a gamer. Like, who loses video games? Come on. You never lose. <laughs> this guy is camping the wall. That's the thing he's doing. Observe. Observe his wall camping. But it just really briefly there be like, okay, well, I guess you're no longer in the fight anymore. <laughs> now, you haven't been attacking for a while. You okay, dude? Oh, I guess I'll we'll cancel the fight here. <laughs> oh, okay, you're back. Okay, I won't restore the health then. Oh, he can actually hit me with the shield. That's silly. Come on, Draconic Tree Man. Old Draconic Tree, man. That's what they call him. Anyway, now he's dead. Okay, cool. Great. <laughs> well, that was a fight. All right. Ah, I was watching on the phone. It was set to 480. I mean, I don't... This should... I don't think... Um, nah, it's fine. Whatever. <laughs> Still shouldn't look too stuttery, though. I don't know. It looks fine for me. Uh, this is the PS4 version, so, yeah. AI is smart enough to realize it has an advantage near a wall. Yeah, 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 yeah. Whatever. Look, I win. I won. I beat it. I beat it, but good. <laughs> they actually designed them well AI-wise. No, I think, like, all the, the bosses and everything have been surprisingly good AI-wise. Just some of them I find kind of frustrating, like the, the full moon, full moon lady, for example. Yeah. I rarely recognize the difference between 30 and 60. I definitely do. I can totally sympathize with that. Well, I got like 50,000 souls for that, and that took like, what, three tries? Damn. Damn. That's a lot. It's way more than what I've expected. Uh, anyway. <laughs> Silly.
We'll get even another level here then. Did I don't know that didn't why don't you level strength anymore? Uh, in the past, 40 has been like the 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 soft cap. Past the getting any more strength past this point has really diminishing returns, which is why I usually like that. That's usually the place in games like this I can I can uh, 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 say I probably have enough. <laughs> Besides, you got to remember that I get like, what is it, plus 50% benefit because I'm two-handing stuff. So it's like, it's effectively as if I have 60 strength right now, and that's even more. I, th I think I'm good. Yeah, so, yeah, 60. And it's it's like, I de as I'm definitely not going to be getting too much. I was looking at like a guide online. It seems like 60 or at least in the 50-ish is about the point in time where you stop getting actual benefits from leveling up strength. So, I think I am good for now. Unless somebody tells me something different. This is just, uh, this is, you know, using my old soul's knowledge to try and game the system. What do you got? Oh, yeah. Would have thought that like a place like this would have had something good here. Not as much. Well, anyway, hey, we're in the uh, the capital city, I suppose. That's kind of cool. There's the tree. Oh man, I'm actually like really close to the tree. Look, they gave it a new um, they gave it a new model and everything. Cool. What am I gonna do in the tree? I don't know. <laughs> you know about the secret doors? No, people were telling me in the comments of the the YouTube video that apparently. That apparently you can do gestures and summons to open secret doors, but I got no idea. If you want to inform me, though, I'll hear it. Yeah, their banner is the big tree. I know, big surprise. Um, Are you a real person? No, I think you're like a zombie. Doc, are you even able to suspend his belief? You lampshade everything? No, being snarky is the only way that I know how to uh, make commentary. <laughs> I'm I'm a millennial. I I only I I can only communicate through irony. <laughs> anyway. Hey, there you go. There's your um, Irithyll and or uh, An Orlando. An Orlando shot of the game. You can open some of them, but uh, in order to, you have to hit the walls. With, yeah. <laughs> but you never know. Sometimes it's very obvious what walls you want to hit. Not often, though. Some good stuff, though. I also got, like, a dragon over there. I mean, I've seen a bunch of dragons in this game. It's not that, not that special. Okay. These uh, enemies, once again, very reminiscent of the the uh, demons from Dark Souls 1. Dark Souls the first. Also, bubbles. It's kind of weird. I'll say once again, man, imagine fighting enemies in a Souls game. Excuse me. Like, imagine it. Doot, doot, motherfucker. <laughs> exactly. What are you, anyway? Just real quick. Oh, he's one of those, uh, one of the, like, gargoyle guys that I saw earlier. Okay, fair enough. And hey, we got some low-poly food here? No. There's been a shockingly little amount of low-poly food in this game. I'm kind of disappointed. Why does everything try to kill you? Uh, you know, I don't know if there's any actual explanation for that. I in the previous games, there was. <laughs> I don't... 
I'm not sure here though. Okay, yeah, no, you're 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 an enemy. It was a very, I don't know, like, Hunter from Dark Souls sort of anim- er, uh, from Bloodborne sort of animation. Is it just me or does this guy just remind me a lot of a, a, uh, a Bloodborne Hunter? Especially with the way he was attacking there and everything. I see that. Oh, Cave Moss. Oh, boy. Wait, did I actually pick up- No, that was the item. Okay. This- Seems like progress. Let's see what else is going on around here first. Oh no, it's the duders. They're dooting. Anyway, let me just kind of walk right by here. Once again, imagine fighting enemies in a Souls game. <laughs> Literally, just try and imagine it for like one second. God, wouldn't it can't be me. Oh, and then we're just back up here. Cool. All right, all right. Oh, we got. Eh, can use them. Okay, I might actually want to fight this guy. Ah, all right, all right, all right, all right. Fine. Speaking of low-poly food, have you seen the Final Fantasy XIV grapes in the initial release of the last exa examination? Yeah, I did. I um, I, I, that was actually um one of the rare reposts that I did on Twitter. <laughs> I think I can even. I think that's still up there. Some dude is just vibing. Other ones have uh. Have a uh, murder on the mind. Yep. Yeah, yeah. Super did get the Endwalker ones there. Imagine getting killed by people you don't want to fight. Well, it's not that I don't want to fight. It's that it's, it's not necessary to fight them. <laughs> I mean, to be fair, I did kind of go around in a circle. That's more of the uh, the issue than anything else. If I didn't circle around doing stuff, that would be... I would be sitting pretty. Trust me. I know how to play these games. By the way, how much damage do you guys actually take? Oh, they go down pretty easily. For a pretty minimal amount of, um... A pretty minimal amount of, uh, souls. But, you know. Doing good. Do uh, doing good. Where was the area that I circled around into here to do the thing? Well, you're kind of like a big version. Yeah, take a little bit more hits. And I'm just gonna run. Yeah, here we go. Rather than fighting that guy, just go down here. Much more effective. Um, although I'm still not really sure where I'm going. There was, of course, that one area that I saw earlier. Come on. There was, of course, that one area that I saw earlier with uh, with the, the elevator that I guess I'm trying to get to. All right. Uh, Got to keep going for it. I still have no idea where 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 those those crescents are. If I could find those crescents. You know, that whole thing. <laughs> well, I would at least don't have. To, I would at least not have to um, to do the thing. Oh, I'm up 24 hours in, and I still haven't killed Godric. Really? Huh. I actually, I I found Godric easier than than Margit or Margit. His name is actually Margit. He says his name. <laughs> He, he states his name, so there's no question as to how it's pronounced. It's Margit. But, like, yeah, that, that, that guy has a lot of very uh, fast attacks that mean that you need to really kind of prep him up and everything. Whereas, I don't know, although there's the range stuff that Godric does, he's not that bad. I'm kind of surprised you're watching right now, to be honest. 
It's like, I might not care about, um... I might not care too much about spoilers, but I would think other people would, uh, probably wait on watching the streams and or videos until I, am. Um, Until, uh, they get to the same point in the game. Are you kidding me? Oh my god. So this is why you don't fight enemies. Just looking for more fun weapons while still using the knife for bosses? Eh, fair enough. I'll also be doing, uh, in the same way that I was doing for, uh, for the, the first episode, I'll probably try to... If you get to a boss wall, I'll dip. I've already, I've already fought two bosses in this stream. <laughs> what are you talking about? Two bosses in this very stream alone. <laughs> Did you miss the uh, the Draconic Tree Sentinel? I mean, it's just you know, a variant of an already existing boss, but still. Yes. <laughs> oh, okay, fair enough. <laughs> I mean, yeah, that's just that's just, you know, the dragon what were the guys called? The dragon riders in like Dark Souls 2. You remember how you fought like two of them at a, at a time later on? Still, you know, speaking of which, still have not we've gotten the mob boss fight. We've gotten the uh we've gotten the big annoying camera character boss fight. Haven't gotten the dual boss fight yet. Haven't seen... I'm betting it's probably going to be in here. If this is supposed to be the equivalent of an Anna Orlando type of area, which, I mean, given how it looks, it's it's very pretty. It's like a big... It is like a big town. I would say... Yeah, this would be a good equivalent here. I'm probably going to be seeing that soon, is what I'm going to say. I'll be running into the... Oh boy, there we go. There's the, there's the thing. It was just right here the entire time. Bye, nerds. Oh, it's going down. It's going to go up. Yes, but it looks like a normal sentinel. Yeah, but it has like it had like two phases and everything, and it, it's it's you know that's like a it's it's boss enough. <laughs> I would call it a bossy type of character. Hey, what's your deal? You know what? Screw it. I'm not I'm not gonna risk this sort of thing. Oh. oh, look, it's the, um, oh, what is the, it's another Dark Souls, uh, no, I mean, a Bloodborne thing. It's that one that looks like a witch. Well, anyway, that went, went down easy enough, though. Hey, 500 souls. We're starting to get the good stuff. Those are the probably prevent... Uh, one of the status ailments, I don't know. The the Crimson Rot deal. There's a dragon. Anything else going on around here? Chandeliers. A stately place. From what you say, it sounds like FromSoft devs aren't very creative and or very repetitive. A uh, second one. <laughs> They're very repetitive. I mean, I, I, I talked about before how, you know, they just kind of make the same game. That's not just in gameplay. I'm not talking only in gameplay. <laughs> There's so many themes and everything that kind of come up many, many times over. Oh, great. We got like a you know, the characters in here, too. Golden Rune 10. Alright, that's a big hefty Golden Rune. There's uh, through lines that are so common throughout every single game. I also haven't seen... Um, has there been a set piece like Volnir yet? Or, yeah, there's like... Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. One we haven't seen is we haven't seen the um, the Storm Collar Sword or whatever that one's called. You know the one. Where it's like you... You get like a special sword that casts explosions or something to defeat a boss. Right on the ground floor here. Still, once again, very close to the tree. 
Gold Firefly. Um, what else? What else? I don't think we've gotten a set piece boss. Or maybe I just haven't seen the set piece boss. Or or the snake. You remember the snake in um <laughs> This guy's still following me. There's also like the snake in um those things casting stuff? Sekiro. Uh I've only played Sekiro. This game feels very different to me. <laughs> well, It certainly has a lot more to do with the uh, the the Dark Souls than it does to <clears throat> Sekiro. <coughs> oh, I mean, obviously, like um, Sekiro is tried to do things a little bit differently. It still ended up hitting a lot of the same notes as as the previous games. But I'd say that this uh, especially has a lot of comparisons to be made with... Yeah, I guess I can just walk down here, right? Yep, this works. A lot of comparisons to be made with uh, Dark Souls, probably most obviously, and then... Um, got a lever around here. Ah, right here. Uh, Dark Souls most obviously, and then Bloodborne, I feel that there's a lot of enemy patterns and whatnot that are pretty clearly taken, or pretty clearly reminiscent of stuff that existed in that game. Yeah, you know, I was comparing, the, I was comparing, the, the last time I was talking about mob bosses and everything, I was comparing that to, uh, the Celestial Emissary in, in Bloodborne. The better comparison, oh, that's actually like a lot of souls that you get for killing that thing. Holy Christ. Wow, that's a good farming spot. Uh, just killing these guys. But, um... Ah, uh, what was I saying here? The real good comparison to the, the moon boss is obviously... It's obviously Rom. Oh? Hey, finally I can go and dip underneath one of the elevators. feel like that's been a long time coming. No, no. That was enough to kill me immediately, but still. Don't know if I want to go fight this guy, but I can try. Since they added jumping, it's the same for Doc. Well, the jumping does make kind of a big difference in a lot of stuff. You know? You know? You know, though. But, like, yeah, you know, though. <laughs> But no, there's a lot of there, there's there's still a lot of comparisons to be made between Sekiro and everything else. The parrying was certainly parrying was an interesting sort of play on the the usual using a shield for everything. But are there any fights that make you jump and dodge stuff? Well, I was doing that in Godric's fight when he when he uh, pulls out um, fire when there, with with a fire attack. I think that was very reminiscent of of some stuff that you'd want to jump over, but. Aside from that, maybe I just haven't been using it enough, but no, I haven't really seen the jump be used for combat-wise. It's mostly just used for exploration than anything else. The jump. Revolutionary new mechanic. Jumping. I mean, to be fair, it does kind of bring you into the third dimension, because otherwise, through the nature of gravity, <laughs> you don't, um... You don't really spend too much time, uh... Oh, man. You don't really spend too much time, um... Off of the ground. Making it sort of like a, a 2D game, more often than not. But, like, not really, though. Okay, let's go down underneath this thing again. I was waiting for the point where I could finally go underneath the... Go underneath one of the elevators. That is a classic, uh... Okay, well... <laughs> Classic souls thing to do. I see. 
Oh. Okay. Oh, that's a uh, another soul's um another soul spell. How much? How much? Thirteen hundred? Eh, not bad. Not bad. Do kind of want to go over and grab this if I can. Good. There is a stealth mechanic. I forgot. To yeah, don't forget that there is also a stealth mechanic in this game. They did take that from Sekiro as well. I never use it, but it's here. Jumping in that game is great. I don't know. I don't know how great I think Breath of the Wild is. I really feel like I've come down pretty hard on, uh... I really feel like I've come down pretty hard on, um... Yeah. Uh, open world games since I've started to play so many of them on the channel. This is what, the fourth one now? Oh, come on. Use your exploding crossbow bolts as much as you want. Okay, and then the guy's behind me here. Yeah. Now, where am I going, though, is the real question. Kind of been messing about, faffing about, not really doing much of anything yet. Fan daggers? Interesting. Random dudes kind of attacking me in the background. Lightning strikes. Cool, cool, cool. All right, well, just r keep keep running here. I see. Well, that's one of the tree guardian guys. Those are the mini bosses that you fight to. Hey, do I have access to this, by the way? No. No hort. Yeah, that's one of the tree guardian guys that you do to get the, uh, the flask of wondrous magics. Can't access that. So this was a pointless endeavor. Yeah, unfortunately. Can't call Horsey? No. If I could, that would be a lot easier. Because I know especially the uh, the tree guardians are pretty easy to deal with. With, um, with that. Jump is basically dodge. A lot of the stuff you could dodge through... D in, in Ds? You have to jump dodge in this game? Is there... Uh, what what like attacks are should I be using the jump dodge for? They really shouldn't allow people to run by enemies. Yes, no, they should. Yes, they should allow that. Man, could you imagine fighting every enemy in this game? Oh my god, it would take so long. I only have so many uh, flask charges, you know. Okay, keep on rolling. Did it jump on top of me? What the hell? What is over here? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I... Yeah, I, okay, I remember now. Imagine fighting enemies in a Souls game. Once again, I beseech you to even consider the possibility... The sheer absurdity. Few enemies lay ground AOEs that you must jump over. Uh, which ones? I don't remember seeing that. But, um, are there any, like, bosses that do that? Have you not fought a rot knight? No, I haven't. I mean, I don't think I have. 
All right, here's you again. Uh, on around here. This seems like a better idea, uh, a better place to go to, considering that it does have like a lamp near it, and as we all know, light means uh, progress. No, eh, it was a good try. Anyway. Yep, there's that thing. Oh, hey, wait a second. Wasn't this dragon with, like, a big spear in the in the trailer for Elden Ring? Uh-oh. I don't know if I like that. That's it? Eh. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Jump over the attack or get rotted. Nope, haven't found that one just yet. Is that in the um the Chaldeum or whatever it's called? Hero's room. Ooh. Ooh. What's this notices? Hey. Is there any way that I can kind of get across here? Nope, that looks to be very much not a place I can go to. Okay, anything else? Anything else? This seems very promising as far as places to go to. But I'm not seeing progress to be made just yet. Maybe down here? Yeah, yeah, this is looking good. Come on, baby. I'm so close. I'm telling you. I can, I, I can set. No, this just sends me right back to the gate. I don't have a gate. To, I don't know how to open that gate. I'm going to be a feel bad for fighting enemies in dead cells. But you know I never fight enemies in dead cells. That's the one thing everybody always complains about whenever they watch my videos. <laughs> and enemies in dead cells also teleport to you constantly. <laughs> ah. I still haven't really found much of anything to do in um, Chaldeum or whatever it's called. I've already forgotten the name again. I don't really know what the what you're looking for in there. I mean, oh yeah, 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 exploration or whatever. Yeah, but like, what? But yeah, but what's 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 the benefit to going in there though? <laughs> I don't think you understand. I don't care about. You know, immersion or exploration. I want to know what the benefits are. What's the items that I get that are going to make the rest of the game easier? The big advantages. Because I care not for anything else, period. Optimize gameplay? Uh, okay, What? how do I optimize the gameplay? I'm hearing you out. What do I get in uh, Chaldeum? Or, I don't remember. Cal Caledonia? What is that place called? What do I get in there that I want to go get? I think the only thing that I found so far that the lighthouse is made to... Uh, that the lighthouse is kind of made to run past enemies and therefore made for Dead Cells player styles. Eh, fair enough. I suppose so. I never really considered that. <laughs> it's true. <laughs> There is maybe something to be said about that. Where, you know, dodging is a big part of the game, and they kind of force you to do that for a, a pretty sizable portion of that, that section. Yeah. <laughs> I told Motion Twin not to make games for me. They did it anyway. But then again, maybe I'm a... Uh, less, uh... Maybe... My play style is more common than I'm giving it credit for. You never really went backwards. What's over here? Obviously, what I've been trying to do so far is kind of run up to the gate and everything, but it might also just be stuff over here, too. Hey, what's going on? Are you an NPC? You are not an NPC. Okay. Kind of a tough boy over here. Oh, there's an exit. Okay. Noted. 
Still not. I don't know how to empower. I If you can tell me, because I'd like to do that in maybe not the next episode of the YouTube series, but the next next episode. Like, I really don't know how to do that. Ugh. I'd love to go get one. <laughs> I'd love to go get an empowered rune, but, you know. You get to suffer like every other area. I don't know if you've noticed, but aside from a couple of the bosses that I've been fighting, uh, Full Moon and... Full Moon Lady and, um... Um, uh, Makar earlier. I have not been suffering. The only thing that's suffering here is... Is the fact that I, I just don't like open world games. That's that's really the entire thing. I just, I just don't like it. I just don't like it, you know? It's not my preferred way to play uh, video games. Open world and very heavy story. And if you give me a very heavy story open world game, oh boy, am I going to be upset. <laughs> By the way, thus far, I have absolutely no idea what the story of Elden Ring is. And I have been talking to, I have been talking to, um, to a lot of the, like, NPCs and everything, and I feel like, I, I mean, aside from become the Elden Lord, Lord, I feel like I'm missing out on a lot of the Elden lore. <laughs> You're God Gamer then, I've been suffering, I think I'm gonna take your philosophy of running by enemies. 100%, I would hi highly recommend that. I think, uh, hell, I remember... Uh, I can't remember even where exactly. Maybe it was on a stream or something. That, hey, if you're playing this game for the, you, you know, PSA. If you're playing these, this game for the first time and you haven't really played any one of the other uh, Souls games, running by enemies is, like, a very legit strategy that it would behoove you to employ as often as possible. You really don't need to fight everything. It's like, that's putting aside all, um... All uh, uh, ha ha he he hoo hoos. It's like it, it is actually a much, much more pleasant way to go through a lot of the areas. <laughs> Legitimately. Don't get me wrong. It's like, yes, yes, yes. Getting in on fighting enemies and everything is cool and whatnot. But there's a lot of enemies and they hit you very hard in this game. And you can just kind of. Just kind of saunter right on by and not have to worry about it. It's been, it's, it's been a true thing since all the way back in Demon Souls, and I, I think it it is not it is not lessened in effectiveness. Boy, these are some really tiny houses. What's up with this? Is there lore behind that, or are they just really tiny? Now, it's a good idea. The black bow. I have not been using bows at all. I don't know if there's a strength bow that exists. Oh. <laughs> yeah, I haven't been using them at all because I haven't even gotten one until right now. <laughs> Clearly. No wonder I haven't been using them. <laughs> How long this is have I been playing this game? And this is the first time that I picked up a single bow. All right. Golden Rune 9. Cool, cool, cool. Stop that already. Um, anyway. Aren't you the type of gamer that wants to maximize power by any cost? Oh, I wouldn't really say any cost. <laughs> After all, I'm not really trying to say... I'm not even... I wasn't even using, like, the summons. It's more like I have a, I have a particular way that I want to play the game. And I will do that at any cost. No cost too great to be able to play the video game in the exact way that I want to. Which is usually not what the developers intend. In fact, I would venture to say, almost always not the way the developers intend. Cracked pot. That guy. Not gonna go mess around with that guy. Oh, what else? What else? Into the sewers. I think it's a lovely place. Any Malder in chat? I'm Malden. I'm Malden pretty good. It's called Malden Ring for good reason. Is that like just a hand monster? I'm not gonna. I'm not even gonna ask. Any cost e equals farming. Well, if they didn't want me to farm, they wouldn't have. 
let me farm. I don't know. I feel like that's a very easy to understand sort of. Uh huh. Okay. I feel like that's very easy to understand sort of concept, right? It's like if they didn't want me to farm stuff, they wouldn't want. They wouldn't let me farm stuff. As far as I'm concerned, that's a legitimate part of the game. Otherwise, not seeing anything in the background. Oh, here's the dragon. That's one big boy, big dragon. And another closed gate. Oh, boy. More grease. I gotta start using grease more. Okay. Is there anything up here? Because this seems... Wait. Gravel stone? Okay. It's a stone dragon, I see. Now, I don't even know what hit me there. No, I still don't know what hit me there. <laughs> yeah, I don't even know what to do with this gravel stone. This actually might be the way to go. <laughs> yeah, taking a look at it right now. Seems promising. Um, rune arc. Don't know how to do the rune. It's a fucking dragon. Yeah, I know. It's cool. <laughs> I still... How do you empower the Godric rune? We still... We, we gotta go return to that real, real quick. How do you, in fact... Useful. How do you, in fact, empower this Godric rune? Stop doing that. Stop it. Stop it. Stop that. Oh, come on. I got so far, too. To get killed by this dude who just keeps casting lightning over and over. I told you, it's on the bridge and out to the end of it. Yeah, but how do I get to it? Yeah, but like, how do I get to the bridge? That That's the, that's the problem. That's the thing I'm missing. I need to have more instructions. Map. <laughs> it's like, okay, I'll go on the map and we'll go do this. Because obviously I have a... I have a um a pretty good idea of where I'm going right now in this in this section. Well, like let's go get this stupid Godric rune done. I wanted like get this Godric rune already. It's been so long. Where am I going? Now, where do I go? Um here, let me pull up the thing. No. Yes, here we go. Stormvale. All right. So, guide me. Guide me through. So that I can finally get a rune already. I also have been carrying around that um, that item from... From uh, uh, the, the, the full moon lady. It's like I should just... I, I, I expected to get like an, a, a cool weapon from that. But I still haven't done that just yet. So, where am I going? Where am I going? You gotta tell me. You are required by law to tell me. Come on, do it! <laughs> Everybody else gets the good backseaters and I get nothing. I don't know. Go left. Smile. <laughs> yeah, you guys don't know. That's the thing. Like, nobody knows where anything is. <laughs> you guys just keep telling me, hey, go do this thing. But then it's like, your backseating game is so bad. Google it, lol. No! I'd rather just not have it if I need to go Google it all at this point in time. That's not true, but I also just don't want to spend time. Go do you want to go do a Google stream where I try and go look up, where I try and go look up wh where I need to go for this thing? 
See, and anybody that does not understand my problems with, uh, with open world games should get it by now, right? Only if you do it in Japanese. Uh, don't let me know. I can. Obviously. <laughs> you really want me to, though? The bridge is literally the castle you murdered the guy in. Yeah, but how do I get to the bridge from there? I didn't find it. You, you gotta give me more instructions than that. It's right there. If it was right there, then I would have found it. I mean, I, once again, I can go back. I, I will. I will go back to Godric's, uh, um, the bonfire, and we'll see. But I swear to you, I'm telling you right now, it's like it is definitely not just there. I can guarantee it. I don't really think there's too much of anything else around here. Unless. No. <laughs> no, I'm not seeing anything. Well, anyway. Uh, alright, alright, alright. Where was the one area? That I was at before. It was down here. It's right there. No, it's just right there, bro. Come on, bro. Let's do stealth. See how much I can get from a backstab with this. <laughs> Nothing. I don't even know if I can backstab this guy, to be honest. <laughs> okay, okay, whatever. Do you have a remembrance? It's an item. No. I have, I have not seen that at all. If it is, in fact, a, a thing. But, um, yeah, right now the plan here is to just go find the... Oh, is to just go find this um this rune empowering dealio. You get it from killing the main bosses? Uh I then I should have a few of them, I think. I think. Kinda hard to say. Now you got a remembrance of the moon lady? Oh yeah, 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 I do have that then. Yes, I do in fact have one remembrance. It's just I don't I don't know what to do with it. I was going to use it to get a bunch of souls, but, uh, I, I don't know. you can duplicate it, but yeah, what does duplicating it do, though? You can duplicate it. Yeah, but what does duplicating it do, though? I feel like I should just use it to get a bunch of souls at this point in time. You'll have two. Yeah, but what does that do for me, though? Okay, uh, well, anyway, um... Yeah, okay, so, here's where you fought Godric. Here's, here's the Godric boss fight area. Where he stole this dragon's head. Good times. Not that good of times, I'm gonna be honest here. But, uh, he did it anyway. Use it twice? Two times souls you don't like? Well, then how do you do it? You've given me no instructions as to like how do how many souls does it take to create that though? Well, that's like that's the question. All right. Anyway, uh, so where am I going? Also, yeah, I mean it's like souls are not that useful, really. I've got plenty of them. So where am I going? Where am I going? This is where I killed this man. <laughs> It should be right here, as I've been told. It's right there. Right there. Right where? Don't know. But, um... Yeah. Alright, here. Let's take a look. If I go over to, what, the east from down here? But I don't... Yeah, I really don't know. So how do you duplicate it? 
You're telling me I can duplicate stuff. How do I duplicate stuff? Is it over here? No, it's just some guy. Continuing to be guys over here. Just guys being dudes. Mm, tree. Uh, nothing. I don't know, man. I'm not seeing it just right here. I'm trying. So hear me out. There are creatures in the planes of the game in the open world that are huge. They have like four legs of the building on the back. Yeah, I've seen them. I've seen a few of them. Oh my god. Well, anyway, I gotta say, there is just hit it in the legs and you go up to the building uh, and you duplicate. Okay. Well, do, is there something else I'm supposed to be doing that with? Because that sounds like a very specific. Ah. Sounds like a very specific sort of um, thing to carry out just to duplicate something that will give me a few souls. And just realize if you continue to go left all the time, <laughs> I, that doesn't mean anything. Okay, then for the rune, lift ch side chamber, side of grace. Okay, let me see here. Lift side chamber. Ah. Uh. Follow left side until you see a an arcway. I'm gonna go do something else. Bye. Follow the you know here. Let me just go and comb this area by going over to the left. So th this this thing, I guess, is this? Yeah, this is an arcway. I would consider this to be an arcway. I think. Go to the door outside first. Well, that's not on the left now, is it? <laughs> okay. Left, and there's nothing on the left here, by the way. And I, uh, you know, the stick to the left side of this, I suppose. Have you met two finger reader at the round table? Then probably not. Okay, here's something. I don't see an arcway. Just keep going along the wall. Uh, doesn't seem to be anything up here. Are you sure this is the place to go? Down where the troops... Okay, this is not left. <laughs> Do you know what the word left means? There. Anyway. Go back. Go back where? Oh, yeah, okay. Go back. Ah. Oh, man. I'm sure road trips with Doc must be quite lively. Well, road trips just go down in one direction. Left and right actually has meaning here. Okay. I am now outside the door. Directions are north and south. You see on the map where the bridge is connected? Yeah, right here. 
<laughs> like, I don't know. You say that like, uh, oh, yeah, you know, right next to you. <laughs> We're going there. Yeah, but how do I get there, though? This is not a flat surface, you understand. And the left just leads up there. So, where am I going? The map has details on elevation. Does it? D does it? <laughs> okay, well then where do I go? I mean, you got my attention. I'm not spinning the camera around. Where do I go here? Do I go down here? Do I go over here? Do I continue going straight? Do I d fall off the edge back there or something? Am I in fact going to that elevator that I saw earlier? Definitely not going left. That leads me to nowhere. Drop down to the middle of the map and go to the bridge. Uh, all right. Now, I am now in the middle of the map. Where am I going from here? It doesn't seem like there's a whole lot of areas to get to from this point. Should I drop down again? I mean, I guess it doesn't really seem like there's much of any other place that I can get to, right? Cool. That's not even vaguely going towards the bridge. You said drop down. What place, uh, uh, what place aside from that was there to drop down? If you were gonna, okay, chat. I have my back on this one. If you were gonna say drop down anywhere, where else were you going, to, where else would you end up going to? Aside from this place. So. Unless the words drop down mean something else to you. Like the words left. <laughs> so. Is it this? Is this the area that I want to get to? Is this the area that I'm supposed to be in? This is the most dysfunctional conversation. <laughs> well, people are people on the internet, in my experience, are very bad at uh, giving directions. So, you know, put a mark where the. D All right. Looks like it's about right over there. Um, no, oh, I'm running into a wall. What are you trying to do? We're trying to figure out how to empower the rune, which is something that people have been making fun of me for up until this point, so... Trying to, to figure that entire thing out. People are incredibly bad at giving instructions, I gotta say. Um... Yeah, man, this does not seem to... Go back to that last side of grace. Okay. Back to the lift side chamber. Took me a minute, but I think I can help you out. Yeah, sure. <laughs> give, it a, give it the old college try, if you will. Because <laughs> I've, I've been holding on to this uh, rune for quite some time. I would like to have it empowered. Okay, Stormvale Castle. I walk outside. Now. Exits are forward to the right well to the right to the upper right and backwards where am I going to where am I going where am I getting to 
Apparently drop down does not work. <laughs> There's a whole courtyard. So it's it's to the right. To here. Um, I'm going to fight this real quick. Okay. Alright. Now then, head to Stormvale Castle, uh, go downstairs past the troll. Okay, that was the troll, I assume. Um, look left past all the mobs. Okay, so if I'm going from the area that I was at before, let me just real quick. Okay, so if I'm going to the area that I was at before, uh, look left past all the mobs. There'll be a stair, stairs that can be walked down. Okay. So it should be over here. Stairs that you can walk down. Downwards heading stairs. Maybe here? Yes. All right, well, I am now out here. We got some kukri. It doesn't seem like there's too... It seems like this is a very straightforward sort of area, so I'm just going to keep um, walking through here, I suppose. Unless there's some other place that I should be going. Be careful of the spear guns. Ah, it's fine. <laughs> Don't worry about the spear guns. Let me worry about the spear guns. Look, I'm like four more bosses into the game at this point in time. I should be totally okay. All right, I am now in another courtyard. Where am I going? I'll try and get rid of these enemies so that I can get the directions a little bit more clear. Cool. Should be a vast fight here. Yeah, I mean, I can get it though. Don't worry about it. Okay. Okay. All right, one more. All right then. Okay, that should be everything. Now, where am I going? So now I am at the end of the area that you sent me down earlier. Up the stairs, there should be a beast dog like creature. Okay. These would probably be the stairs. Beastly. Okay, that would be a beastly dog like creature, yes. Hey, is this actually the. Oh, I think this might be it. I, I put down this beacon earlier, which was not very helpful, I'm going to be real with you. Um, this seems like it's it. Okay, good. Look at the marker. You were no help at all, gorilla. Your directions were terrible. <laughs> Black Knight here. Black Knight here knows what he's talking about. Things like, hey, look for the big dog. <laughs> or go down the stairs. See? All of that was very helpful, actually. I told you to go left. Yeah, no, that, that was the thing. That was the thing that I was missing. I just need to go left. If only I just went left. Yeah, it took like a solid two hours. It's fine. <laughs> well, look, we're here now. Now I'm going to go get a rune. It's cool. I'm going to walk past these guys. Which, frankly, should be fine. Well, maybe not this guy. I'm not a big fan of this guy. Uh, is this the area I want to get to? Potentially. Oh, there's a teleport thing down here. Okay, that's also useful, too. At this point, you should be okay. Yeah, I mean, it's like at this point, this should just be go across the big bridge, right? I think. Ah! 
who told me to go left from that bonfire? Which was apparently the entirely incorrect area. Just period. <laughs> Malden Ring. The Malden Ring uh, name of this stream still remains extremely correct. <laughs> anyway. I, at least this means that I can actually go uh, get the get this rune going already. I still got like another thing. Uh, the what is it called? Um, no, still got like yeah, this great rune of the unborn. I don't know where to use that one at all. Doesn't really give me any sort of indication either. Seek the divine tower. Da, 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 da. Yep, that's pretty much it. Do I need to fight after Godric because I've been exploring too much? Well, I mean, uh, it's a. Uh, I, I, I can I can uh, give you a little direction if you are looking for that, but trust me, it's like eh, you're just doing the expo exploration. Me, I'm a person that is very very interested in objective stuff, you know, trying to accomplish as much as possible in as short of a time as possible, which is why I am so so amicable to backseating right now compared to probably everybody else on the internet. <laughs> Yeah, I've, I've actually gotten uh, quite a bit uh, farther in the game. It's just this this rune thing has been extremely difficult for me to find for whatever reason. I don't know what the deal is. Apparently you get like a decent advantage for actually empowering it. So, ah. It seems like a very worthwhile thing to do. Trust me, though, I'm not a fan of the next big boss, so hopefully you get, get a little, have a little bit easier time with it. It's been, uh, it was a, it was an experience. All right, this looks promising. Oh, yeah, it even looks like the rune you can see. What is this here? Okay, now. How do I equip it up is the question. Yeah, what is this thing? Huh. Birds. A lot of birds. I'm a fan of enjoying YouTube vids and watching uh, you on my TV and decide to help. Hey, thanks. <laughs> I'm a, like I said, I'm very much 100% okay with getting. I'm not a huge fan of open world games, so I am just 100% open with to getting to getting a lot of backseating here. You're standing on two fingers. Oh, okay. Yeah, I get it. I see. That makes sense. Just some fingers. Okay. Oh, well, how do I use this thing now? Raises all attributes used to perfect the rebirth. Okay, so I guess this thing is already empowered. All right, well, how do I actually use it now? Go to a grace? Well, I guess there's one right here now, isn't there? Ah. Okay, okay. There, now I finally have a good idea of exactly what I'm doing with a lot of the, the stuff to do. Go to a grace and equip it. Ah, yeah, right there. Now wait, why doesn't the other one equipable? Well, whatever. Is that like the equivalent of um Is that like the equivalent then of uh yeah, yeah, of like the the oaths or whatever they're called. Yep, I see it in the upper left corner now. Finally. Oh, that took so long. All right. Lord Souls? No, because like the Lord Souls weren't even equipable. It's more like it's a you know, it's like being part of the, the, I don't know, uh, the sun guys, the praise the sun guys, what are they, what are they even called? <laughs> GG easy clap. And you know what? I think I'm going to, uh, then I got the, yeah, and then you're supposed to use like rune arcs, which whatever, let's just sacrifice one and see what happens. Okay. Now. Does that last until I die or something? How does it do? Well, hey, whatever, it works. This is sort of like, can you go to the round table? Yeah, I can do that real quick. I was also gonna end the stream real soon because, you know, it kind of, it's like Ember. Okay, good. Hey, finally. <laughs> 
Finally, finally, finally got that whole thing going on. Man, how many bosses have I beaten since I have, um... How many things have I done since since finding that in the first place? You know, look at all of my resistances. Wow. There's a lot of things in here. Find the granny. Uh... No, no. You? Oh, this is a rare occasion. No. I can't remember the last time. Very well. It is safe here. No, I'm not putting this axe down. Uh, y you perhaps? Ah, I have been waiting for your return. I've decided I'm off in search of a noble scholar known as the Gold Mask. We may not meet again for some time. If there's any income. Well, anything of interest? Well, I also do, in fact, have a pr a prayer that book. Is a work of heresy. Ah, whatever. Its incantations bear no lineage from the Earth Tree. She's in a room. Very well. Yeah, I got no idea. Has done course. zero quest lines. There are quest lines in this game. Catch flame! Oh flame! Oh flame! You card. Anyway, uh. Okay. Cool. May the golden order shine through you. Also, where to go slash what bosses after after Godric? Well, I mean, I've, I've already fought that boss. That's the actually uh, the other great rune that I have. But, you know, old lady is up the stairs behind the door. Oh. Ha is that open? Oh, yeah. that This door has been closed this entire time. I didn't even notice that it opened now. Yeah, yeah. And there you go. There's the... Uh, there's the fingers. Looking just like the ones that I saw earlier. E. I had my doubts. But my look at you. Only when did this open up? Was this when I got the rune? I seen two great runes together. Look there. The fingers shudder with exuberance. Fine work, brave tarnished. The greater will is pleased. You have earned the right to become Elden Lord. Cool. Now, seek the Erd Tree. <laughs> I was doing that. With Queen Marika. Okay, what does the remembrance do? Yeah, if you're if you're looking to uh, avoid spoilers, definitely would probably um, dip out right now. expect as much from you as they do, young Gideon. Gideon. Who is Gideon? A token of farewell. Oh, is that another one? Go forth. Become. Yes, I will. Uh, do I have another? I do. Okay, cool. Lightning damage negation. <laughs> do I have anything that I even want to equip there? Not really. I get whatever. <laughs> sure, sure, sure. Now then. Da -da -da. Receive power from remembrance. Here we go. Sure, sure, sure. All right. So. I can get a staff. Unfortunately, it's an int scaling staff, so nothing there. I just need to go uh, go nowhere to go after Godric. Okay. Uh, yeah, I can actually tell you here if... Uh, I don't. I don't want to spoil stuff, but I mean, if you just, if you just like, yeah, you just, just fucking tell me. Um, so after after Godric, you kind of head up into this area, and then eventually you hit up like this, um, you know, sort of dilapidated town type of thing, on, mostly underwater. You want to go to this place, this place right here. Uh, right here, there is a gate. When you get to this gate here, um, let me just go do that right now. I don't know if I want either of those. I mean, I can duplicate it, but it's just like, I don't know if I want either of those items. Yeah, I've been there. Okay, but, I mean, specifically to... To get in here. I don't know if you've done this one just yet. Just give give it a second load. If that's all, the, that's then cool. Well, I mean, uh, specifically, it's like you can't just go into this door... What you do is there's this guy here. He gives you a map. Um, just real quick. Go find it. 
somewhere around here. Yeah, he gives you this map right here. It says you got to go look for this. Uh, haven't got that. Yeah, it's like look for... Basically, when you get up to this big gate, this guy will have a map, and that map will tell you to go here. And that's where you get the key to the door. And then this is an entire big dungeon with a big boss at the end. And that's that's more or less what you're looking for after Godric. So, and after, after Godric, then what you want to do is, you know, there's another gate after you go into this gate. Yeah. yeah I can show that. Because this is also, like, super not clear. Just wait for it to load real quick. Yeah, it's like, look, I love myself some backseating. I'm, I'm perfectly willing to help you out as well if you just got no idea where to go. Is Elden Ring much different? Uh, yeah, I would say it's definitely very different. It still has, like, the jump. It has the sneaking. But, uh, it's like, it doesn't, it doesn't go nearly as far into, into blocking, the parrying mechanic, and, like, no, no death, um, death counters that you gotta take out. It's, it's way closer to the, the Dark Souls series than it is to Sekiro. Even though a couple of the, the various mechanics are reused. So yeah, if you continue if you continue going left, you'll hit up a um a, a, a an elevator that will take you up to the big dungeon. If you go right, however, you can continue going across this area and eventually you'll come to a lift that is broken down that I don't know how to work or you can drop off to the left. Um there's like a an area around here, some sort of church. Uh yeah, the Bellum church that will let you go into a cave. That will take you up to the top of the next area. And that's that's sort of the progress of what you're looking for right now. That's at least if you want to continue on with the game, that's what you have to do. If you want to continue looking around in this area, there's still plenty of things that, to do that I haven't even touched on just yet. Apparently including qu quest lines. But yeah, yeah. What you're looking for is you want to go get the missive from the guy at the gate. Tells you to go here. These two little dialings right here. And that will get you into this area, and then consequently this area where you need to progress. There you go. I'm going to go in far right in the red area. Yeah, I mean, I've been, I've, I've been kind of like doing a lot of exploration over here as well. But nothing, as far as I can tell, that will get you farther in the game. It's just, there's stuff. There's good stuff over there, but nothing that is like progress. Nothing that will give you progress. But yeah, okay, I've been streaming for about two and a half hours here. I'm going to go get some coffee. Maybe I'll be back a little bit later. Maybe I'll just work on the video. I'll, um, I'll, I'll see what's going on. But yeah, if you're, if you're looking to make progress, that's all I've gotten to thus far. In the next area, it's, it's kind of a long one with not as many save points. So, kind of banging my head against that one. But I also want to get the rune going here first. Because, come on. Had that thing stanking up my inventory for quite a while. <laughs> so, you know, might as well. All right? Yeah, good day to y'all too.